Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello and enjoy your discount. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Welcome back viewers to my channel, Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper and Painting. Do you wanna spruce up your trim? After about three years, uh, base trim, the vertical trim you see in this image right here behind me, it gets kind of shoddy looking, right? in high traffic areas such as bathrooms. In a typical household, about three years is all you're going to get out of white trim, especially in a narrow space like this. So I'm doing this video so that you see how easy it is just to paint your trim every once in a while. You know, people kick into it, they scuff it. It really gets shoddy looking, even if you use the best paint what I'm applying is a urethane enamel from Sherwin-Williams. It happens to be top quality stuff. Okay, so what I've done is I've taped masking paper to the floor after cleaning it very well and drying it. And then I put blue tape just above the edge. And what I'm using right here is caulking. I'm using clear caulking to make sure that paint does not get past my tape. And so you'll see me here applying the caulking where the tape meets the trim. Above the trim and below the trim. There I go above and there I go below. And I'm just pushing that clear caulking, even though it looks white right now, it dries clear. I'm pushing it up against that corner where trim meets tape so that no paint gets beyond it. I have in my hand a nice clean cloth. If you get any paint on the floor, you can get it, you can get it up. I'm using a putty knife just to scrape any gunk that might be on the trim. I have a little sanding square in my hand. It's just a little sanding square because I just want to scuff up the trim so that my new emerald urethane enamel sticks to my trim. And there's my little two inch brush with which I'm applying it. There's my sander. And I just simply scuff up the trim to make keys. Keys are or little marks, little, little marks in the surface so that the new paint sticks. There I am using dry decks and that will fill in any holes that are in the trim. And I had one right there or a dent. The nice thing about that is you don't have to prime it. Dry decks, you see that? and it dries really quickly. Thing I like about dry decks is that not only does it dry quickly and that it doesn't need primer, it has a dry time indicator. Once it turns white from that pink, you're ready to go. And there I go, just painting away. You see the speed with which you can now proceed after you've caulked it? You know, it slows you down when you have to just drag that brush along the top lip. You see, what I'm pointing at is the pointy part, the forward edge of my paintbrush. I'm getting it in right there, just so the brush can get all the way against the wall there. You want it to look your best. This is a self-leveling paint, by the way. 
And the reason why I encourage do-it-yourselfers, after all, this video was made for the do-it-yourselfer, the professional already knows this stuff. But the do-it-yourselfer, they think, oh gosh, I gotta paint the whole room. I just wanna paint my trim. Well, no you don't. This video is going to be tagged for the YouTube world, for those who are just looking to spruce up their trim. You know, making trim freshly white is a great way to, it's a great investment for selling a house. You want to make it look nice? Spruce up your trim, repaint it. It'll do more than painting the walls, believe it or not. It looks clean. And so I'm just going along and now some of the questions you have, Spencer, how many coats? Spencer, how soon after painting can I take the tape off? How long can I leave the tape on? How much caulking did you use? Can I use other caulking? Make sure your caulking is paintable. I highly recommend a product called Alex Plus. Um, it's very durable stuff, especially the fast drying Alex Plus. I highly recommend it. Okay. And so just a painting technique, you want to go you want to finish your stroke in the same direction throughout the entire trim. You don't want any lap marks or, or uh, brush marks on your trim. So you can go back and forth like that, but look what happens when I finish the stroke. One long stroke, you see that? One long stroke, edge to edge. I don't want you seeing any stop and go marks on my trim. So we just, what if you had a 20 foot piece of trim? Well, you can go back and forth just to get it into, into the, uh, the uh, trim and then you finish left to right or right to left but you keep finishing where as you go forward you take your brush where you are right in front of your body and you push it back to where you painted and that's how you keep proceeding that's called keeping a wet edge and that's pretty much it for the video what you see here I'm just continuing what I've already done in the last few minutes during this video and you can do this throughout your entire house, you know? Okay, let's say you have carpet, what do you do? Well, you see that tape and that paper on the floor? You do double. You take your tape, your hand masker, look up 3M, 3M as in Mary, hand masker. Retails anywhere between 55 to $70, but guess what, it's, it's well worth it. You take two layers of paper, you first put the first one down, and then you push it all the way in with your fingers down toward the, the tack wood. You know, a carpet has that tack that goes all around the room. Watch your fingers, because you're going to be pushing the tape down, and then you'll see you get 90% of your carpet covered. The rest, you take another piece, and you, you push down on the carpet that you missed with the first layer. Guess what? You're ready to paint your trim even though you have a carpet there, your paint will not get on the carpet. So if anybody's looking to spruce up their trim, I highly recommend that you do it this way. It's very quick and it's very effective. Wait till you see how it looks when I pull that tape off. Real clean and real sharp lines. Now, Paper, pull the paper away from you because it might wind up back on the wall or whatever. It gets sloppy. I suggest you have, you know what to do. Go to Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or something like that, a home goods store. Get yourself a laundry basket. They make them like collapsible tents. Throw this right in there. And then if you have a truck, you just collapse it. And it doesn't take up the space. I have one. Okay. Let them just see that coming up.
So, if you want to spruce up your trim, you don't have to paint your walls. Let's say your trim is really grimy, it's getting dark, people are kicking at it, and your walls look pretty good. Tape off your wall, tape off your floor, spend an hour or two, your whole room will be done, and you can enjoy the rest of the day. It doesn't have to be a disaster and a big project. It's as simple as that. Okay? If you like it, how do you do it? Let me know how you guys do it and share it with us. Thanks for watching my videos.